Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for walking through this Alteryx Weekly Challenge with us. In this video, we're taking a look at Alteryx Weekly Challenge number 249, Highlights. In this challenge, we're provided some raw data with generic field names, and we want to create a reporting structure where we can highlight the cell with the largest individual value, or the maximum value contained in the data table. And this is going to rely on our use of the table tool from the reporting category and setting up some conditional column rules. If you'd like to follow along, we're in the Alteryx Academy under Weekly Challenge. This is challenge number 249. You can download the YXZP start file if you'd like to follow along. As we open Alteryx and we look at our input, it's a very simple data table. We have three fields, field one, two, and three. We have a maximum of six records. And taking a look at the output, we've added a record ID, and then we have some conditional formatting built into our report structure that highlights the cell with the largest value. So the first tool that we can bring onto the canvas is from the blue preparation category. Recommend adding this to your favorites bar if it's not there already, the record, record ID tool. Here the default configuration will work just fine for us. Adding in the first column position, this record ID field. And another tool that we can bring onto the canvas and use the default configuration is going to be the transpose tool. And connecting this to our source data table, the, the default is going to take all of our columns and assume that they are data columns and move the data points into name and value pairs. And the advantage here is that all of our numbers from that source data table will be in one new field called value, and we can easily use a summarize tool to identify the maximum value. And this would work in a dynamic setting, so if we had more than three fields of data, this would be able to uh, dynamically transpose all of those new additional fields off to the right into one field called value, and the same summarize tool will, will identify the largest individual value. All right, so now in our summarize tool, we have this singular data point, and we want to append it to all of our records in the main data table. So the first tool from the join category, the append fields, is perfect for this task. So the target side will have our source data, and the output will have that max value appended next to each record. Ultimately, we're not going to publish this max value field, but we need this data point handy so that we can do our conditional formatting on a relative basis. So bringing in a table tool from the reporting category, we can see what a default table looks like after we hit the run button and look at our browse tool. So the first thing I notice is that it's going to print or publish all of our fields, but we can teach the table tool which fields to omit or skip over. So by unchecking max value, it's not going to print that field, but it's present in the data stream. And this is where we can use it to create column rules that do our conditional formatting for us. So be careful not to create a row rule here. We can do row-based conditional formatting, but this type of problem calls for column styling. So we'll do this one field at a time. So first for field one, we'll add a column rule and we will change the text color from black to red when a condition is true. And you can use these column stylings to apply to the entire data table, to the headers, or we can do it on a conditional basis. And in this case, we're going to use the formula conditional. And you'll see that when we hit the three little dots, it opens up an expression editor. And we have all of our existing fields available for us to reference. So for field one, I want to change the text to red when field one equals the max value. Well, let's go ahead and hit close. You'll see that field one, the reference is now bolded in your per column configuration listing. 
So that tells us that there is a column rule set for that column. We can quickly set up our column rules for field two and field three. The only things that will change here are the existing fields that we reference in our expression editor. So after we add our three column rules, we can hit the run button and test the impact and make sure that it's highlighting the appropriate cell. And then we'll do some quick testing and make sure that it works on a dynamic basis. So if new larger numbers are added to the data table, the next time we get some fresh data from our clients, make sure that we highlight the largest individual cell. So taking a look at the browse tool, we see that in field three, record two, the value of 132 is highlighted. So I'm gonna change record two, field one to 146, which should be the largest number. And now we see that that's the one that's highlighted in our resulting table. So no more manual conditional formatting and combing through Excel files looking for the largest value. You can do all of this on a dynamic basis using Alteryx. And taking the cooking show approach, I've got a version of the solution here with the tools annotated. Nice quick solution to start the year off. Hope everyone has a happy and healthy 2021. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.